Hi friends, Flossie here from the Grape Jelly Library taking you on the journey of how the Grape Jelly Library came to be. Before we get started, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and turn those bell notifications on so you'll be able to enjoy future book discussions with me. Now, on to the video. When we purchased the house, it had three bedrooms, one master bedroom and two teeny tiny bedrooms that I couldn't really do much with. So we hired a contractor to create an opening in the center wall and conjoin the two rooms into one. My son's bed, along with some dressers, occupied the front half of the room, while the opposite end housed his computer desk, a TV, some guitars, and a bureau. Years later, when my son moved out to start a family of his own, we left the room unattended for about two years. My husband came to me and suggested we go in there to paint and see what we could turn it into. Since I had a lot of books on shelves throughout the house, I decided to bring them all together and create a home library. After long hours of ripping up carpeting and padding, sanding walls and spackling, we finally made some headway and began the painting process. Since my style preference does not include the colors white or purple, I decided to step outside of my box and do just that, paint all the walls white and have a purple carpeting installed, very reminiscent of the color of grape jelly. I decided my accent color would be gray, since I felt like it perfectly balanced out the starkness of the white and the boldness of the purple. Since it would take about two weeks for the carpet installers to arrive, we decided to go ahead and build the shelves a little each day and just live around them. I was a little excited to see what the finished product would look like, so to give myself a general idea, I temporarily moved a few shelves in and placed a couple of books on the shelves. The big day finally arrived and the carpet installation went smoothly. I was in love. Next, I added curtains, blinds, shears, and accessories, all in the color white. I spray painted a sofa table, moved a cream colored cabinet from the kitchen to the library, and it ended up looking more white than cream now, so it worked perfectly in this room. I spray painted some cheap lamps and bought some oversized white shades to make them a little more pronounced. Additional white floating shelving was added to the remaining walls and some more accessories. I had an old rocking chair from when my child was little, so I spray painted that white too. Slowly but surely, I started to add a fourth accent color in the form of some faux green plants. I really liked the way the room was looking with additional colors, so I decided to go with more colors like buttery and mustard colored yellows. In time, I changed out the gray chairs for velvety green grommeted ones and added a matching velvet ottoman. My husband hung some mystical accent lights on the main shelves and I placed some candles here and there and voila, my library was complete. I am so in love with this room. Let me know what you guys think. I was told I should enter photographs of my libraries to the magazines, but I don't know about that. Giggle, giggle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until my next, know that I love you. Be well, be good, and be reading, friends.